Now we're going to talk about F0. Can anybody tell me what the first step to any F0 is? Well, it's got a step on an accelerator goal. Accelerate. Good answer. You're going to accelerate to the proper RPM. ACCEL abbreviates for accelerate. Now, how do I know what the proper RPM is? Alright, somebody give me a gear between 3 and 10. Any gear? 7. Huh? 7? Give me another gear. Any gear? 6? 9? Anybody see anything? Mm -hmm. Do you notice the pattern? Mm -hmm. All you need to do to find out how many RPMs that you need to get that gear is you take six and add it to the gear you're going to. You're going to six gears, six plus six, you must be in fifth gear, 1200 RPMs. Everybody understand that? It is very important that you do not give the truck too much fuel. Did you notice how your speeds overlap in each gear? Yeah. If you give it too much fuel, your road speed will be too high and it will not go in the next gear. Plus, if you over-rev the engine on your road test, it will cost you one point every time you do it for over acceleration. All your lower gears are for is to get you moving. I don't care if you have that truck at 3,000 RPMs. If you're in fifth and third gear, you're still going to be doing five miles. It won't go any faster. Everybody hear that? So, you're going to accelerate to the proper RPMs. What's the second step? Clutch it out of gear. Then you clutch it in gear. <coughs> The biggest mistake everybody makes is when they double clutch is they hold their foot on the clutch. That won't work because there is a switch and when we get through tonight, if you want me to, I'll show it to you. On every truck that senses your foot on the clutch. And if you don't come the whole way up off that clutch, the computer on that truck knows it. And it won't go to the next gear. An upshift, watch my feet. It's going to look like this. Accelerate. Clutch it out. Clutch it in. Accelerate. Clutch it out. Clutch it in. Everybody put your chairs in and stand up. <laughs> yeah. And an upshift should take Exactly. Two seconds. All right. Now, how far down do you want to push your clutch? About that much. If you push your clutch all the way down, you are getting into your clutch brake, which is stopping your transmission. Can you upshift if you're slowing down your transmission? No. Nope. 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 If you push your clutch pedal past your brake pedal, you know they said like this, you're clutching too far. And it's going to be going like this. And you think your road structure kind of people in the back going to be happy if they're going like this for about four days? <laughs> Ain't going to happen. Now let's do an upshift. Right foot accelerate. Back. Left foot clutch. Clutch. Right foot. Clutch. Clutch. Left, right foot, left foot, <laughs> accelerate with the right, tap, tap. Come on, James. You weren't lying when you said All right. you were dancing. Accelerate, tap, tap. Let us speed it up. Accelerate, tap, tap. There we go. Accelerate. Tap, tap. Damn, you did all three of them with one foot. <laughs> <laughs> right foot. Accelerate. 
tap, tap. Everybody got that now? Yeah. Yep. Accelerate. Tap, tap. Now all you have to remember is every time your left leg moves, <coughs> your right hand moves with it. That's not that hard, is it? <laughs> now you can shift without a clutch. But it will cost you a point every time on your road test. Ooh. And you walk fast. Federal law says you must double clutch. Accelerate, tap, tap. Accelerate, tap, tap. Come on now. Accelerate, clutch it out, clutch it in. <laughs> All right, have a seat.